So maybe at this point we can, we can uh, open up for some discussion. And we are, at the team is very um, keen to receive challenges as well as comments <laughs> and suggestions, yes. I mean, challenges are also contributive to knowledge building. Yes? I, I had been pursuing this line, but maybe I'm related a bit more to Christine's earlier work. Uh, so, uh, so I think that this uh, discussion about the theoretical, so the theoretical uh, data analysis, whether it's face to face or face to face, but I think uh, you know, you really like the idea about that it has to be theoretically grounded. So there are, I think you mentioned about the theoretical assumption, which guide our research questions. And Jingyan also mentioned about the controversies at one point in time about people who go for the argumentation or the explanation framework. So I think it is something worth inquiring. I, I think that maybe I don't I don't know what where the Chris would like to comment on. I think that even in your example, you do look at explanation and argumentation. And I even think that these kind of moves or that they really interact in a way. So I, I don't know whether it is um, so, so I mean, I'm just commenting on um, whether uh, we hear the main thrust of argumentation marker or argument longer thread, or whether how do you think about? But I understand the theoretical assumption of knowledge building is uh, well based on earlier works, more based on explanation. So, but I want to know more about the explanation argumentation relation, and I know you have. Published on that, or yeah. So I, I well, I, I can make a, a, a short comment. Uh, in the same way that Nancy asks, is there knowledge building going on in the knowledge forum? And it may not be the case always. In the same way, you can ask, uh, when you do argumentation, is there knowledge building? <laughs> and there isn't always knowledge building with argumentation either, because the question that you that you need to ask is, well, what is the nature of the argumentation and and the nature of the explanation? Because argumentation and explanation are closely related. That's one of the uh, results that we came to is that we had explanations, but they were argumentatively oriented because the explanations were being given in order to convince other participants of a certain viewpoint. So it's not always easy to uh, distinguish between explanations and argumentations. You need to look into the whole interactional uh, context. And as far as being able to say whether argumentation is something that is going towards knowledge building, well, I would say that the type of argumentation that I'm interested in and the type of argumentation that I try to get students to engage in is definitely going towards knowledge building. Uh, it's an integral part of knowledge building for me because, for example, argumentation helps students to disentangle notions that are posing a problem for them. If, they're, if they don't agree on some aspect of, an, of a problem-solving situation, well, maybe it's because they don't have the same definition for a certain term and that's stopping them from going forward in the, in the problem re resolution. So they need to uh, discuss that. And they need to understand, well, what do you think about this? And what do I think about it? And can we come to a consensus so we can move forward in resolving the problem? And that kind of argumentative discourse is really important for knowledge building and really integral to knowledge building, I would, I would argue. And that's just one example of how argumentation can be uh, important. And there, uh, there are a lot of examples that we could cite in the literature. So that's kind of a short answer, too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I just want to say that I, I agree with that. I mean, I, I definitely see a role for argumentation in, in the stuff that I've looked at over the last 10 years. And a lot of it has to do with things like, for example, students having already explained something to, to others feeling that others are not providing the information or others are not moving in the direction where to move forward from that. So then it's taking another time or it's bringing it back to someone to you know, try and you know, come up with ideas basically or, or saying something like, okay, I'm the next group and the other person is talking about the same idea that this person is talking about. So it's, it's really to, to, to 
try and gain some support for ideas that, that are out there, that are not just part of the explanations per se. In general. So it's already understood by some people in the community, but it has to make impact on the community yet. So, so I think those kind of things, I think setting goals and, and finding out what's going to be important for the community to work on, and like all of those kind of things are very ar argumentative. Um, and they are like that in science as well. But, so I, I think that's where I see the, the, the potential for our argumentation as the economic framework to be very useful. Because, um, so the question is whether or not you know, what we've seen so far is kind of focusing on that. Yes, yeah, I think that's a real look in your argumentation or the scaffolding in, in the knowledge form. When you're asking, is that knowledge building in knowledge form? Then I would say knowledge form is an, is an environment which the, the didactic and the principles of knowledge building is embedded. So you would expect that there would be much more support for knowledge building than in other environments like blackboard or discussion boards. So I, will, I think it's a more interesting question if there's more knowledge building uh, than in other environments. So that we uh, that we have an insight if you are going on the on the good direction, in using arguments, are using more scaffolds, uh, do we, are we using the right support? That people are not if they have the highest level of knowledge building, but if they're if they are supported enough to to, to go towards uh, the knowledge building, I think. And that's a bit well. In, in a, a lot of the research, we are only looking at the knowledge form. And actually, we should look at knowledge form and other environments if, if they are doing better, I think. 